Now in this question the volume is given by pi times the integral from a to b of y squared integrated with respect to x. And what we know is that y is 1 over 2x plus 1. So if I was to square that I'm going to have 1 squared which is 1 over 2x plus 1 all squared. And that's with respect to x. And there's two ways that I could do this integral. One is by substitution and the other way is just by recognition. Now I'm going to do it by recognition here because it is quicker but in the video that follows I'll do this integral by substitution so you can see both ways. Okay so if I'm going to do it by recognition what I would want to do is bring the 2x plus 1 all squared up to the top so that would be integrating from a to b of 2x plus 1 to the power minus 2 integrated with respect to x. Then I'll keep the pi, the constant, out the front. Now when I'm doing integration by inspection what I notice then is that this would have come from differentiating 2x plus 1 to the minus 1. So I'd most probably go over in the margin here. Let's just go up here actually and give ourselves some room. Suppose I had y equals 2x plus 1 to the power minus 1 to differentiate. Then using the chain rule dy dx would equal minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1 drop the power by 1 so that's now down to minus 2 and then multiply by the differential of what you see in the bracket and the differential of 2x plus 1 is just going to be simply 2. So that you can see that this gives minus 2 times 2x plus 1 to the minus 2 which is really 2 over 2x plus 1 all squared. So hopefully you can see that this looks like what we have here only that I've got minus 2 instead of 1. So in order to reduce that back to a 1 what I should have had here then would have been minus a half. If this was minus a half at the front here then this would have been minus a half multiplied by all of this and minus a half multiplied by that value there would have given me the final answer of 1 over 2x plus 1 all squared. So I hope you can see that and follow my reasoning through there. So what I'm saying then is that the integral of this okay, is going to be minus one half of 2x plus 1 to the minus 1. So in here I will put minus a half of 2x plus 1 to the minus 1 between the limits a and b. Now before we move on any further I'm going to clean this up. 2x plus 1 to the minus 1 is 1 over 2x plus 1. I'm also going to put the minus a half out the front. So I would have minus pi over 2 and then this would be between the limits sorry this would be 1 over I should say 2x plus 1 between the limits a to b. Now all I need to do is substitute b through and then a through okay, and subtract those two answers. So we have minus pi over 2. We put the b through so we have 1 over 2b plus 1. And then minus and put the a through where there's the x so we'd have minus 1 over 2a plus 1. Let's just move this up a bit more. Okay, give ourselves some room. So what I don't like is this minus out here. So I'm going to multiply through by minus. So that would just mean that I would have pi over 2 
this term would become a negative term, this term would become a positive term. So really what that's going to mean is that they just switch places. So we have 1 over 2a plus 1 minus 1 over 2b plus 1. All right. Now to simplify this further, what I would want to do is put this over the lowest common multiple of these two factors underneath here, 2a plus 1 and 2b plus 1. So we'll have the pi over 2. Now we'll put it over the lowest common multiple of those two, which would be 2a plus 1 multiplied by 2b plus 1. So, what do I need to multiply 2a plus 1 by to give me this denominator here? And it would clearly be 2b plus 1. So I need to multiply the top by 2b plus 1. So 1 times 2b plus 1 is just going to be 2b plus 1. Got to be careful here because we've got a minus sign here. So it's minus. And again, what do you multiply 2b plus 1 by to give this denominator? 2a plus 1 would be the answer, so I need to times the top by 2a plus 1. But because of this minus, make sure you have that in a bracket, 2a plus 1. Okay, so easy to trip up there. Next, all I need to do now is just clean up the top line here. Uh, I'll put the square bracket still there, I think. So Remember, this is minus 1 lot of 2a plus 1, so what we're going to have is 2b plus 1, and then minus 2a, minus another 1, all over 2a plus 1, and 2b plus 1. We're nearly there now. What we can see, hopefully, is that the 1's cancel, and then we've got 2b minus 2a, I could pull 2 out as a common factor on the top and we have pi over 2 multiplied by 2 lots of b minus a and that will be over the denominator again 2a plus 1, 2b plus 1 and you'll see now that that 2 cancels with that 2 there and finally the simplified result would be pi bracket b minus a all over okay, 2a plus 1 multiplied by 2b plus 1. And that's the end of this question then.